Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to find the PAC.MC Meta and PAC.PNG files for editing those. But I wanted to show you this first. Version 1.16.4 or 1.16.4 just came out, and one thing I have noticed is that it's no longer using my Steve.PNG from my custom resource pack. And I had to go back in and use the online way of changing my skin at the Minecraft.net website in order to get something and this is at half the resolution of my normal resolution for my skin so there's some problems right there I don't know if this is just a temporary glitch or if they'll be fixing it in the future or if we're going to have to from now on be stuck with the 64 by 64 resolution for our skins we'll have to just see how that goes so for right now I have a low resolution skin okay let's switch over to the desktop and I'll show you where and how you can find the pack.mc meta and pack.png and also how you can edit those files. Okay, here we are back on my desktop and this works for version 1.13 and newer. Even works here for the newest version 1.16.4. There's actually no change on that from the last couple of subversions. So first open up a file window like this. I just happen to open up to my computer right here. And then in this address bar, type in percent app data percent. There we go. In here, go into the dot Minecraft folder and then come down to versions right down here and then find your version. And again, right now I'm at the 1.16.4 or 1.16.4. So we need to copy this over onto a new folder on our hard drive. Let me just bring up another folder for that. Here we go. You want to have a new folder for this. I just made one here. I just called mine edit pack.mc meta. Call it anything you want, put it in any place you want. Just make sure you have a brand new folder for this. And then go inside of your version folder over here and then copy out the .jar file. If you don't see the .jar file, if you don't see the .jar part, go up to view and make sure there's a check mark right here where it says file name extensions. Now, if you're only seeing .json and you're not seeing .jar, Make sure you play this version once at least because it downloads this the first time you play the version. Okay, so take this. I'm just going to right drag this over here and copy it. There we go. It's now copied. I can now close this thing down. I'll get that out of the way. There we go. Now in here, just change that dot jar to a dot zip. You can just type over it like that and choose yes. We can now open this up with the standard Windows zip program. I'll just right click on this and I'll do open in new window. There we are. And in here, you're gonna see a few things. We're inside that zip file, so don't make any changes in here. This is just a reference. You find a few folders up here and then a whole bunch of these dot class files. They're alphabetical, so just scroll way down to get down to the P's. Let me just grab my scroll bar right hand side. I'll go way down here to the P's. It's way down towards the bottom. These are mostly low letters. Here we are. There's your pack MC Meta and there's your pack PNG. I'll just grab both of these and I'll right drag that over here and copy. And there we go. There's a pack MC Meta and the pack PNG. Okay, I can now get rid of this. Now to work on this, all you need to do is just open this up. I normally use Notepad, so mine opens up automatically in Notepad by just double clicking on it like that. If you don't have Notepad or it's not set up, just right click and come down here to open with and you can choose Notepad. If you don't see it here, click on Choose Default Program, and you get this list. If you don't see it here, click on More Options, and you should see it in this list right down here. Now, if you don't see it in this list down here, you can come down here and look for another app on your PC right here. This just opens up a window where you can go and then search for that. But you should see Notepad right in this list. Now, you don't have to use Notepad. You can use other programs as long as it's a code program and doesn't change anything in this. Notepad is good. The free download program, Notepad++, that's also really good. That's a great way to go. Okay, so here we are. Just, just open this up. And right now we're in, again, version 1.16, 1 1.16.4. And ever since 0.2, that is version 6, 1.16.2. It's been version 6, and we're still there. This may go to version 7 this next summer when 1.17 comes out, so we'll have to just watch for that. So all you need to do in here is just change this little bit right here. This is the description. Make sure that you keep those two quotation marks in there. Don't lose those quotation marks. 
And this is just what shows up inside of the list inside of Minecraft when you're activating the pack. That's all that is. You don't actually have to change it, but it's nice just to have it say the right thing. So just change that and you're all set. Okay, that's all there is to the pack MC Meta. Now the pack PNG, this is just a graphics file right there. It's pretty small size. You can make this pretty much any size you want. That still works, no problem with this one. I normally use 256 by 256. It doesn't matter what the size is. It has to be square. Anything above 256 is not going to help you because the image is just not that big inside of Minecraft. So anything beyond that, you're not going to be seeing any increase in detail. So, and this can be edited with any program you want, as long as you can edit PNGs. And that's almost every graphics program I ever made can do PNG files. And just make sure it's square, make sure it's a PNG, and you're all set to go. Again, this is for version 1.13 or newer. If you have an earlier version than that, you can download those two files from my website. There's a link for the download page right in the description. Now I'll talk more about this skin here and what I'm finding out happening here with the skin in the next video. It'll be a day or two and I'll do a little bit more research on this, see what's up with these skins, see if we can still use those high resolution skins or not. The problem is that with version 1.16.4, Minecraft is switching accounts over from Mojang accounts over to Microsoft accounts. So once you made that shift to Microsoft, it looks like it's taking the skin from the Microsoft account and not taking the skin from the resource pack. So we'll see if they will fix that in the future or if we're stuck using low resolution resource packs on these. I hope not. I like my older skin a lot better. This will work, but it's not great. I may go back in and redesign this just a little bit to improve the look at this resolution, but we'll see how that goes. So in any case, I'll do a video about the problem here in the next day or two. All right, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, take a look at my channel for a bunch more Minecraft stuff, and I'll see you next time.